Are you looking for a good free radio streaming program that works on Windows, Mac, and Linux? Look no further. Today we're going to take a look at Odeo. So, Odeo. Odeo is a free radio streaming app, and when I say free, I mean free as in free of charge, not free as in free and open source software. Odeo, unfortunately, is closed source software, but it is free of charge. Uh, Odeo, if we take a look at their official website at odeo.io, say hello to Odeo, free streaming software, Windows, Mac, and Linux. It's got some screenshots. The UI is very gorgeous, a little bit reminiscent of Spotify as far as the layout. Uh, they have only had a few releases, right? They actually just started releasing April of last year. They had their very first beta release. I think it was Windows only, but later in the year, they went ahead and released uh, a release for Linux. So we got a Linux version, I think September of last year, looking at the uh, the website here, the release notes. Anyway, so they've had, looks like four beta releases since the initial one. So there is a lot of activity, uh, a lot of uh, new development, a lot of bug fixes. Looks like it's an active project and it looks like a really kind of neat little radio streaming app. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. Uh, to install it, by the way, it is a snap pack. So that is probably the easiest way to get it is it's hosted over on snapcraft.io. So there is Odeo here. You simply open up a terminal and sudo snap install Odeo, and that should get you Odeo on pretty much every Linux distro out there as long as you have uh, snapd installed. Before I install the program and go ahead and launch it, uh, Odeo does have a GitHub page. How do I know that Odeo is not free and open source software? It's because they have a GitHub, but there is no source code here. You have a README, and that is it. You don't have any kind of code. <laughs> so, uh, also, there is no license that I could find. I can't even find like a proprietary license. So, with with the absence of any kind of free license on the page, and of course the code not being there. Uh, you can consider this a closed source application, so it is proprietary software. So I've already installed Odeo, and let me go ahead and launch Odeo here. And this is how Odeo looks the very first time you launch it. So I haven't played with Odeo much, I just installed it, really, about two minutes ago. So this is the initial screen here, you get a little bit of a, a selection here. Um, I guess this is popular stations, maybe that they're uh, just recommending to the general audience. Uh, we have view stations here. If I click that, radio stations by the tag 60s. So it looks like they were advertising uh, 60s radio stations. Of course, we have the banner at the top featuring the Beatles. If I go to my library, this is all the radio stations, I guess, that I have tagged. Of course, being the very first time I've opened this program, I have tagged nothing. Recently viewed, uh, I recently viewed one station when I first uh, loaded the program. I took a look at 101.ru, a classical music station. Let me go ahead and uh, play that. Uh, nothing should play because I set pulse audio volume control. I set the output for this to the wrong output. <laughs> that way nothing actually plays through the desktop audio. Nothing gets recorded. I don't want the video to be flagged by Google, but it is playing. I, I promise you there, this radio station is playing right now. I'll go ahead and pause it. If I wanted to click the little heart symbol here, that would add this to my library. If I click the little clipboard uh, icon here, view station profile, I could get some more information about this particular particular station. Uh, country of origin, Russia, the uh, URL for their homepage, uh, language, codec, bitrate, and the last check time. And now that I've, you know, clicked that little heart symbol, now when I go to my library, you know, I actually have, now have a station up here here, so I could actually add more stations. Uh, if I want to search stations by countries, I close, I uh, click the uh, left-hand pane here, search by country, so obviously I'm in the United States here, so there are 14 stations here in the United States. I'm not sure, is that all the ones we have in the US on the app? That would be strange if that's all we have. Well, let's see what my options are. I have Sunday Baroque. I'm assuming that's another classical station. I like classical music. Of course, I'm playing it again, but of course we're not gonna hear it on the video because uh, again, I don't want YouTube to flag me. 
gonna go ahead and add that one to my library too. If I wanted to uh, check the station profile, of course I have their their URL for the website. Uh, language, it's in English of course, MP3, the bitrate is 170 on this station, and again the last check time. And we have arrow buttons, navigation buttons at the top, so I can actually arrow all the way back if I wanted to, to where we started. Anyway, so now my library, of course, has two stations, you know, and of course I could eventually fill this up with a variety of stations and a variety of musical genres. Uh, typically, you know, I'm, you guys know I'm a classically trained uh, trombonist originally, so I'm, I'm big time into classical music. That's typically what I listen to at home. Of course, in the car, I like uh, classic rock. Uh, I even like, you know, metal, you know, <laughs> like things like that, a little heavier stuff. Uh, other than searching by country, we could also search by language. So there's a language filter, uh, and it looks like pretty much any language. <laughs> they have a bunch of them. So if I wanted to, of course, I could filter with English. So English is 6,093 stations. That's a lot. So we would probably have to filter this down uh, even more. We could also search by tags. So I'm not sure if it's actually going to... No, it's not going to throw up any tags right away. Yeah, it does. It gives us uh, some tags, a lot of tags. It just took a long time for all these tags to load. So if I wanted to look up, I don't know, how about classic rock. <laughs> Is that a tag? Yeah, and there are 379 stations with that tag. And if I wanted to, I could check some of these out. I'll just pick one at random. How about one, two, three, all classic rock out of France? <laughs> and then I can play it. Of course, it's playing over here and here. If I wanted to, of course, I could add it to the library and I could pause it here or pause it here. I can adjust the volume, by the way. Let me get my head out of the way. Hold on just a second. You guys see we have the volume here. I can adjust it or raise it. I'm going to put my head back in. <laughs> uh, what else do we have in the left-hand pane here? We have home. Home just gets us back to the, the very first screen, the home screen. We have settings. Now, settings is interesting because... We have two different themes to choose from. The default theme is a light theme, and to be honest, the light theme looks gorgeous. The dark theme doesn't look bad either. Go back to the home page with the dark theme. You know what? I kind of like the dark theme too. I'm going to stick with the dark theme. Also have, of course, some about information. It tells you basically a little bit about Odeo. Not much, actually. Again, it links to a website. Doesn't really give you any licensing information at all. Uh, you know, there could be more information about Odeo in both the app and Odeo.io, the homepage. That's one thing. Uh, the, the main dev really should give us a little bit more information about, about the application. Uh, support Odeo. So he does want some support, both financial support. Uh, I don't know. You can't really contribute code because it's closed source. But I, I do know that it, uh, there were a way to, uh, to donate on the, uh, the website. Anyway, Odeo is a responsibility of an independent developer and is absolutely free to everyone with no malware, mining, or scams, unlike many others. <laughs> so, and that first line is actually kind of scary. I mean, that's nice that he mentioned that it doesn't contain malware, mining, or scams, but still, if you're not an open source program, how do we know? And it's kind of scary you even threw that line in there, just saying. And of course, we can file a bug report here for, through their GitHub page. We also have some social media links here in the bottom left. Uh, GitHub, Twitter, and Facebook. Go back to the home page here. Anyway, this was Odeo. Odeo, again, sudo snap install Odeo. It's free. Free as in beer, not free as in freedom, unfortunately. Uh, it's one thing, I don't know, maybe the developer will have a change of heart somewhere down the road and uh, release this thing under a free license like, you know, the GPL or the MIT license or something. Uh, all in all, though, a uh, pretty nice application. It's one that I'm going to keep on my system. I, I went ahead and installed this uh, on Manjaro. Did a simple sudo snap install Odeo on Manjaro application. The very first time I launched it, it took like a solid minute for this thing to launch. It took a long time for it to launch. So long that I actually thought the program crashed or it didn't install properly, but it finally launched after that initial launch, though, now it launches pretty quickly. So if I kill the application, let's just test this out real quick. So if I close the window, and then I'm going to open Rofi and type o Odeo. Let's see how long it 
it takes to launch. Uh, three or four seconds, that's not too bad, but it seriously took a good, oh, at least 30 seconds, maybe 60 seconds to launch the very first time I launched it. But that's not too bad. Anyway, that was Odeo. I hope you guys find Odeo a nice app uh, for those of you looking for a good radio streaming program. Again, available Windows, Mac, and Linux. Before I go, this show was made possible by Ansem, Carlos, Chris, Dylan, Leo, Rob, and Tony. They are the producers of this show. They are my highest tier patrons over on Patreon. The show was also brought to you by all those fine ladies and gentlemen. You see all those names on the screen. They are my supporters. They support my work over on Patreon. If you would like to support the channel, please consider supporting DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.